Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will briefly show you how you can integrate the new Lemberg Automation LineX IO Link Master into TIA Portal PLC environment. Having a look at the physical wiring, you can see here that I connect up the uh, link distance sensor from Pebble and Fuchs at the first IO Link port of the IO Link Master. And the uh, Link Master again is connected via an unmanaged Ethernet switch with the Siemens PLC. So, first of all, the uh, Link Master device can be renamed by clicking on Online Access and selecting the computer's Ethernet access card. Click on Update Accessible Devices and the search for the accessible device performed. Okay, there we have the certain MAC address of this unit. And we will open the folder and click on Online Diagnostics. Under Functions, assign name. I will rename it to Line X. Scroll down and you see the button for assign name. We'll wait a couple of seconds, scanning. Okay, the PropyNet device name LineX was successfully assigned to the MAC address. So on the process bar it's visible, it was confirmed. And by refreshing the update accessible devices search. Now the yeah, LineX IO Link Master will appear with its uh, new name, Linux. The next step is now the installation of the GSTML file for the Linux IO Link Master. So click on Options and then on Install General Station Description File or GSD file. Okay, click on the check mark and then start the process by clicking on install. Confirm with yes. Now as the hardware catalog is now updated, we click on on the field devices, Provenet IO, IO, Belden Deutschland GmbH, and here we have the category Lumberg Automation Line X, and select the certain Unit device, per drag and drop, insert it into the device networks overview. Is it not assigned yet? So we select the IO controller, the PropNet IO interface, assign it to that. So yeah. Afterwards, um, we switch to the device view of the uh, link master click on this uh, rg45 port icon to be able to change the properties of the ethernet address the first play first place we will now change the already assigned name so there is a link between those in terms of um, setting the ip address okay we change the last octet to 21, in our example. Okay. Then again, compile before we download the new IP address to the uh, Linux iLink master. Okay. Zero errors. And then click on download to device. Load. And finish and start all. Okay, in the last step, we will now change the port configuration of the physically connected I.O. port. So here we have actually the I.O. link device connected on port 1 or slot 1.2. 
and we have to change the default configuration by deleting this module here then select on the right hand side in the catalog and the sub modules the uh, right or applying process data input length for the iolink sensor which is according to the manufacturer on the uh, product page so which is iolink input three bytes length compile to see if there are some errors in the configuration okay then we can finally download the pod configuration into the device download. And click on finish yes basically that's it thanks for watching